Everyone, this is Vishwas wishing you a Merry Christmas. As we wrap up 2023, I want to take five minutes to talk about 2024 and what I believe you should be learning to land that web developer job you've always wanted. Of course, this is purely my opinion and you might not agree with it, which is completely okay. But I am keen to hear your thoughts at the end of this video. Of the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are kind of a given for any web developer, so I'm simply going to state that this should be your starting point if you're new. But where to go from here is somewhat my personal opinion. Now, there are plenty of great frameworks and technologies to build with, but looking at the trends of 2023, I recommend focusing on five key tools and technologies for 2024. First is React for building user interfaces. React has been really strong for the past decade and will continue to be in 2024, especially with the introduction of React server components and some new APIs, React is now even more powerful. Second is Next.js for full stack web development. I have mixed opinions about the latest version, but it is kind of the only framework to directly adopt the new React features and make them work. Vercel has, of course, invested a lot in making it better, and companies continue to use Next.js as the preferred choice for a React framework. Learning Next.js could be your best bet for understanding React in a job-seeking context. I have got an ongoing playlist on the latest version, so make sure to take a look. Third, we have TypeScript. TypeScript continues to become popular and has almost become a mandatory requirement for developers applying for jobs. Trust me when I say this, learning TypeScript in 2024 will instantly put you in a better position as a job applicant. Fourth, we have Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS has become a very popular styling solution with Next.js. The TNT stack, TypeScript, Next.js and Tailwind CSS has become so popular that almost every company's careers page I see for a full stack developer role, they say they work with these three technologies. If your CSS foundations are strong, Tailwind CSS should be relatively easy to pick up as it is a utility first CSS framework. Lastly, a fundamental skill in team environments is using Git for version control. A basic understanding of Git should suffice depending on your level of experience. So these are the five areas I suggest focusing on in 2024 to land that job you've always wanted. Of course, that also means my goal for 2024 is to create courses covering these topics. Now I'm interested in hearing your opinions. What skills do you think are important to learn in 2024 for advancing your career and securing a job? What topics would you like me to address in my 2024 courses? Please let me know in the comment section. Once again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.